Yeah. Once you know, when you know where, where things are, Crash 2 goes by really quickly. Still a really fun game, though. Well, a game doesn't have to be long to be fun. So. There's a whole thing with, like, uh, Colors and Generations. Like, if you're just going by the story, it's only like a three hour game or so. But it's a fun three hours. It's a really fun three hours. And. Actually, no, I shouldn't even bother because we can't even get the gem yet. Oh, the. Oh gosh, okay. The uh, box gem. We can get a gem though. And that is another skull path or death route. Uh, it, it has a lot of names, but I think the official term is Death Root. And this is... It, well, very Donkey Kong-esque. But... Unlike uh, Mario, you can actually spin the logs away. So... That's nice. Alright. But yeah, um... Like I said, oh gosh. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, like how the physical copy I have of this game crashes on a specific level. This is the level. Like for some reason it just hates the ruin. It just hates the ruin levels. I have no idea why. Oh, okay, I can actually jump. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I mean, I just I, I I wanted to test it, I guess, but still, <laughs> that was kind of dumb. I didn't think it would actually work. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Try not to be so risky this time. Okay. Woo! What? Okay, depth depth perception is a little bit weird on these platforms. And die. But you just want to jump because the death part, the death route, does actually skip quite a big chunk of the level. And even though we can't get a gem, I'm gonna be going through it anyway because the way I, well, the way I ha uh, go through, as you kind of know by now, is is that I um. Well, I go through the level with getting all the boxes I can, and even if I can't get the bo even if I can't get the the box gem, and when we do back go back to the level to where we can get it, I show the area where we haven't that we haven't seen before, and then I just cut to the end. So it, it just makes it a little bit more streamlined. Okay. And now we go. <laughs> okay. Uh. But yeah, I, I don't I really don't really I really don't need to explain like what these stages are based on like as you probably figured by now they're based on the uh, the ruins levels of crash one but I, I do like that it's kind of a oh gosh 
It's kind of a hybrid of the uh, ru indoor and outdoor level ruin levels. So it's a ni it's a nice little blend. Oh yeah. <laughs> also, if we did miss, if we did go through the death route, we would have missed the co the crystal as well, I believe. So, yeah, that wouldn't have been good. And now we have, I believe, the last uh, chase level. And this time we're getting chased by a giant polar bear. No, don't laugh. All right. And there's a very well-hidden secret in this one as well, so you're going to have to take a look. It's actually really sneaky where they put this one. And fail. Okay. Alright. Okay. Do you get it? Yes. All right. Yeah, the 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 polar bear gets the boxes a lot more than the boulder does. So, all right. Oh gosh, no! <laughs> it gets dangerously close sometimes. Come on, stop hitting the mines. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> Alright. No! Get away, you monster! Get away from me! I don't want you. Okay, come on. This is stupid. A uh, what?! I didn't even s uh, I thought there was a pathway to the left. Oh well. Again, I'm not that good at these levels. Okay, I was a bit overzealous. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Did you jump down? Secrets! Yeah! <laughs> Don't ask me how you're supposed to know that. Well, then, then again... Uh, well, the... There is a... Um, like... The fact that, that some of the planks weren't broken. At the same time, though, that happened in the boulder level. And if you did it there, you, you were just gonna fall. So... Yeah, don't ask me how you're supposed to know this. But still, they... I, I guess that is a little bit of a clue, but... Again, it happened before, so I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, but yeah. This is definitely one of the harder secret pathways, though. Mainly because of this guy shooting out really slow missiles and having all these little turtle enemies in the way. Like, that's the main thing. That's the main issue of the... Well, the main... Uh, not the... Not issue, but just the main hurdle, I guess. Alright, there's nothing there. Alright. I hate the metal things, uh, blue guys, I don't know what they're meant to be called, but yeah, you're meant to belly flop them, but because the miss, the, uh, there's the missile guy around here, it's best to just ignore it, really, and just ignore that. Yeah, you're, you're meant to wait for rats, but 
Yeah, takes too long. And just go through. Don't care. And that's always super loud for some reason. And, okay, bonus. I think this is one of the instances where you're going to have to actually use the uh, slide jump. So I don't think you can make it without it. Let's try. Oh, okay, you can, but it's a lot... It's very, uh, like, just about, really. I think we got them all. I think we did it. Alright, we're near the end, I think. That, that's my motto. We're winning, I think. Well, yeah, it kind of is, because I do say stuff like that a lot. Like... When I say something, I just kind of, by instinct, say I believe or something a lot. Even if it is, like, 100% true. Alright, sorry about that. Okay. But yeah, that's uh, uh, something that happens to, for me, I guess. I, I don't know why. But it just kind of does. Alright, do you get them? Oh. <laughs> you went right through that. Okay, okay, Harry, <laughs> chill out. Oh boy, what is going on? Nine, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I survived that. Okay, this is the last one. This is actually really cool. Like, look at this. Like, you're riding the polar bear while getting chased by a polar bear. And just... I don't know, I just find that awesome. Go! No! Ah. Uh. Alright, let's try that again. You don't have to worry about those. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> okay. Just jump. I like to jump because it. I feel like it gives you. lets you move a little bit more to the. more horizon horizontally. Maybe that's just me, though. I don't know. It just feels a lot, a lot more safe when trying to avoid the uh, electric fences. But yeah, I have no... I, I don't know how you're supposed to know this. <laughs> Two crazy hidden... Oh, gosh, no. Oh, please don't. Okay. So this is one of two secret levels in the game from the that you can get to from the secret warp room and all that. This one is a dark version of a polar bear level. And like a dark level in Crash 1, you can barely see anything. Like you can only see like 5 10 feet ahead of you. Well, in, in Crash 1, if you didn't have Aku Aku, you could see, like, nothing, pretty much, but... Even with, like, the te the added 10 feet, this is still kind of annoying to go through. Well, well, it is annoying, but regardless of such, like... Oh, man, this is easily the worst animal level in the, in the trilogy. Like, oh, I... Uh, man... Yeah, you can't see anything that's coming. Ha. But either way, it's just... Uh, I just hate this. But yeah. Let's just try and get through. 
and hopefully get all the boxes. Because if you don't get all the boxes, I don't know why you came here. Because there's no crystal, so you might as well go all the, go all the way. And is this where the f okay? I'm trying to remember all this because I know there's a point where okay yeah yeah that's what I was trying to remember. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Doing all right so far. Missed it. Fail. Oh, come on. Alright, uh, at least that's not too far. Alright. Okay, just go to... Okay. Now just stay alive, please. I hate those long jump ones as well. Okay, we should have it. Please? Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I don't like dark levels. But that should be it. With the exception of one gem, Warp Room 3 is done. Insert obvious joke here. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather. And my <coughs> uh, our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to fortune. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next one. Okay. 